Hey guys, uh, I'll be showing you how to install the garbage disposal. This is a Waste King uh, garbage disposal and uh, I bought it like six months ago and it's been running fine and I'll show you the installation tips and the review of this product in this video. So let's start. Alright, to remove older uh, stuff, this is my pictures when I didn't have a garbage disposal and this is my connection looks like so first uh, turn off your water line and make sure you have a bucket or something underneath and this is straightforward after that just unplug everything and disconnect everything keep the bucket underneath and and save all your parts plumbing parts all right three uh, things you need for this project is plumbers buddy channel lock and screwdriver So I use plumber's buddy right underneath the sink flange. Uh, you, you can use the rubber one they give you, but you cannot use both. Just make sure you use, use one and take the excess out if you use plumber's buddy when you tighten your support ring. I'll show you in the next few clips. So that's how the mount ring and the cushion mount has to sit on top of each other like that. Yep, just like a lip or something it has to sit on that lip. Yeah, and uh, yeah, once you tighten your support ring underneath, make sure you put the fiberglass gasket on top and then support ring. Uh, when you do that, your uh, plumber's putty comes out. Just wipe all the excess from top and bottom. Uh, as you tighten, make sure it's very tight and... Uh, mm, then put the mount ring and then you put the cushion mount as I showed you earlier. And once you have it like uh, once you have it properly uh, done, those four steps, uh, it should look like this. Uh, before you install your bottom tank, make sure you run the water through it and make sure there is no leakage. Uh, before you install the tank so you can check whether any leakage coming through the plumber's putty you know there in that area I'm just showing you my older picture versus you know all the pipe connections what my older picture looks like I didn't have to use any of the I didn't have to use any new parts all I used is older parts and reconnected everything into my newer garbage disposal. I didn't buy any pipe or anything. You may have to buy it, but if you have a similar something similar to mine, you can avoid buying any pipes or anything, but pipes are cheap. So if you have to buy it, don't worry about it. You can buy it. It's in Home Depot. You can get, get uh, any local stores or, you know, you can buy it from there. And this is the closer look as I, you know, probably seen it. Uh, but I'll show you it has to go all the way down it has to you know sit like that make sure and uh, once you have it make sure when you set your when you when you connect you want to keep your pipes closer to your uh, the uh, your you know the connections so you don't have to run longer pipes Right, as you see, like all my connections are very close to my outside uh, drainage, like where the final, all the gunk will go. Uh, that's where, like I kept very close to that. So make sure you, when you're turning everything, make sure you keep close to the outside connections. So you don't have to run longer pipes. That's what I meant. Like you want to keep everything close and uh, keep in mind when you're turning things, when you, you know, um, making final connections. Uh, and uh, yeah and this is single sync connection so it wasn't that hard anyone can do it uh, it's not a hard installation as I said it's very easy uh, it's running nice no issues six months uh, all right for the dishwasher line uh, right there uh, so I didn't have to uh, extend it you may have to extend it and I use old connection 
as I said earlier. All right, uh, take the excess putty out from those uh, small areas using a screwdriver or something. That's what I did. I didn't bother to clean it really neat and clean. Uh, I kept, you know, it's not gonna affect too much anyway, so. And uh, yeah, now it's, those are the connection. It's very simple. I had to cut a little bit of pipe where the, the black pipe meets the white pipe right there. And yeah, that's my switch and that's 20 amp uh, dedicated line for the garbage disposal so it's around seven and a half inch uh, width and about 13 and 5 8 inch in the height so it's not uh, you know it's not a big unit and i'm gonna run the noise level on the unit i'm going to run the machine and record the noise uh, before starting the unit uh, the noise is around 44 db uh, there is no noise in the room 42 41 as you see and then i'm going to record the noise with the uh, machine on <laughs> 